Hello everyone, my name is Maria. I am with the University of Nevada Reno Extension and today we will be making instant snow. Um, I will be using this product here. It's this little tub. It's called Amazing Super Snow Powder. And what it is, it actually is a powder. It's a polymer powder. And all you need is one little tiny scoop, which is one teaspoon and two ounces of water to make roughly about four to six ounces of snow. Um, what polymer is, is the same substance that they use inside of baby's diapers to absorb the wetness, except Japan actually made a mistake and made this polymer, which is super absorbent and it expands to 100 times its original size. So if they used this inside of baby's diapers, the diaper would explode upon wetness. We don't want that, so they came up with different ways that it could be used, and one way is to make snow. So uh, we will be making snow today and showing you a few ways that you can play with the snow. I have my assistant, Catherine, my daughter, and she will hold, this is four little tiny teaspoons or scoops of the snow over this uh, glass container. Um, parents, when making this activity or doing any activity with your child, expect to make a mess, could get a little messy. Um, we're going to add the water here as fast as possible. Lukewarm water helps it warm faster and better. As you can see, it is starting to expand and grow here. And once you start fluffing it, you actually get more snow made. It starts to form more. It is cool to the touch. It feels like snow. You can play with it, do different type of activities with it. Um, again, it does expand to 100 times its original size. So obviously in this state here, you're not able to make a snowball. You try to make a snowball, it just opens back up. You can feel kind of rubbery. Um, if you would like to make a snowball, you need to add more water. So we're going to find a section. We're gonna add more water to it. And once we pick it up, we can make an actual snowball. At this point, you can make a snowman, or a snowball. Please no throwing the snowballs in the house. Parents, the snow is reusable, so once it dehydrates, it will turn back into a powder substance. All you need to do is add more water to it, and you can have snow once again. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few other ways that you can play with it once, of course, you've gone ahead and made it. So another fun activity that you can do is you can actually make colored snow. You start by coloring the water, not the actual powder. So we're gonna start by taking the powder in our hand in the cup. It's two scoops of the powder in there. And we're gonna pour our colored water in again as quickly as possible. And what's gonna happen is it is going to form our red snow. You see it growing in the cup and you can pour that into the white snow and you can clearly see the difference between the red snow and the white snow. Now we're going to move that out of the way and we're going to take our cookie sheet which has the snow already flattened out for us and something else you can do with it is you can make footprints. So we're gonna start off with our little sheet. How many footprints can it make? It makes four. That made four footprints. Let's try our dinosaur. How many footprints will the dinosaur make? Two. Two footprints. What about our, our moose? Four footprints. Four footprints. Aside from making footprints, you can have the child try to write their name in the snow.
All right, so here are just a few different ways that you can use the snow for. I hope you have enjoyed the video and we look forward to hearing from you how you played with the snow. So if you ever see us around at fairs or in one of our classes, please let us know how you played with the snow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time.